Good afternoon. How's everyone doing? It's Marty here. Uh, so, where I'm at today on this beautiful sunny day, well, I'm at the National Flight of History Museum uh, up in North Berwick. Uh, came out today to have a look at uh, all the planes and stuff. Um, it's stunning day today, to be honest. When we were driving here, it was raining. It was awful, but let's go and have a look at the Concorde. Uh, I'll turn the camera around and let you have a look. Holy shit. Fucking massive. Pulled in the French. Oh, stairs are rock come with me on it. Christ. Oh, I didn't realise my flashlight was on. You can't really see anything. There's Aiden. How small the windows are. I don't know why it's fucking. So, well, here's a mess. That's the fucking back of the, uh, the Concorde. It's huge, like. That's what she said. Uh, right behind me. Red Arrow. Never seen one of them in, in real life. Obviously, I have had it, like, an air show. But, like, in the flesh. I've never seen one. Uh, I, slapped, I was slapping the uh, the tyres of the the plane and <laughs> some bloke came over he was like can you stop slapping the tyres oh no he was like can you be kind he was like <laughs> can you not slap the tyres <laughs> both me and Adam were thinking well I haven't got a fucking fist like fall I'm not going to break it Christ you would have thought with the amount of money they'll probably put into this that would be secure, secure but it's uh, very impressive and fun fact this is an engine of a 747 which were produced by Rolls Royce uh, that's just like mind blowing to be honest um, but You go through that, you're fucked. And this is a 707. Never been on one of these in my entire life. I don't even think they fly these anymore. Because I definitely haven't seen one. The bloke behind us has given a guided tour of the bloke who tells us to stop slapping the tyre. <laughs> <laughs> Four yeah. Was exciting, never quite as I'm just stood here laughing at that. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like something out of a Lego film or something.
Um, this, yeah, like I say, this is a 707. They don't fly these services anymore because they're so old. Uh, and I was trying to like think of some fun facts about like Concorde to be able to tell you. Aiden told us a few because fun fact Aiden used to work for British Airways um, and he knows quite a lot about planes. Uh, Concorde ran for 27 years until the last uh, flight crashed in France um, which well completely obliterated the plane. Uh, and I told us the reason as to why um, the plane crashed it was because when they were taken off in France, there was a strip of metal on a plane that had taken off uh, prior to this one taking off. And it was left on the strip. It hit the wheel and then apparently it bounced right up into the, the intake of the engines. And that's what completely ruined it and then it, it well it got worse from there it killed everyone on board um did it kill everyone on board yeah yeah it killed everyone on board sorry to be so morbid but uh and yeah ran for 27 years british always had nine concords um insides really really nice to be honest someone said it wasn't uh very what was the word he used for us it wasn't very nice looking and <laughs> i didn't got pissed off <laughs> he's like fuck off because <laughs> he loves planes and i have no idea what this engine is but i just know it's massive and well I have no idea what this is. This is a, a trident. I have no idea what that is. It's just a lot of buttons. Like, how would you look at that and go, oh shit, I don't know what to press. Look at all of them there. There's Aiden. And the tour guide over there who told me to stop slapping the Concord tires. Here we are in the civil aviation portion of the museum. To be honest, I've not, well, yes, before anyone in the comments says it, yes, I know I'm looking at planes, but I have no idea what I'm looking at. I just know this is civil aviation planes and stuff. Uh, I knew, to be honest, I did actually know this was a gyrocopter. Uh, I already knew that because of games I've played. But like, some of this stuff is just like really interesting. Um, like, it is a great place to bring like family to come have a look at stuff. Um, I think it was like 13 quid to come here. And it's a, it's a big day. I'll uh, show you the map wherever it is. It's in my pocket. Um, so it's it's quite a lot to look at we're in the civil aviation bit there's an assault course there I, I best stay away from that but yeah there's quite a lot to look at I'm looking forward to that I'm really looking forward to that parachute store Oh, we're going parachuting. There's a glider. I did actually know that. That just looks like something else. was fucking Star Wars or something. Fucked. 
back in the day when they used to use bus seats. <laughs> I'm joking, I don't know if these are bus seats. It fucking smells like a bus. Doesn't look safe at all, even though it's probably safe than most of the bloody stuff we have nowadays. No, you cannot see. You cannot see. But it stinks. Fun fact that, well, I didn't just taught me. Because obviously these planes are so old, back in the day, if that ever was like an operational issue or they needed to get off the plane in an emergency, it was a rope and it wasn't a slide you'd use. Look at the state of these toilets, man. Well, I can definitely tell you if I was on a shit on that toilet, I wouldn't be able to uh, wipe my horse. Infant life, life jacket. See, it just doesn't look safe at all. I mean, how oh, was a fatty like me? Might to get through that door. Uh, and another fun fact about this plane. So this is called a comet. Uh, and this exact plane here made its last flight to this place. And that was in um, 1982. Thank you, Aiden. Uh, but honestly, it's a stunning day today. Stunning. Uh, and we're going to go and have a look at that in a minute. The Vulcan, which I thought was a... Uh, what did I say it was? Oh, I thought it was a typhoon. I'm a doctor. I know fuck all about planes. But it's a... Yeah, they've definitely repainted it. Well, it doesn't look like it on the but on the other side it does. And I'm presuming this is probably the stairs that you used to use to board. I'm surprised I'm not going through them. I don't know if you can go in there. Something tells me you cannot. But we're trying to work out where the airstrip is. I think it's somewhere over there. It looks like that's it over there, to be honest. But interesting. Well, here we are. This is the... Uh, right, I was really interrupted by a full screaming child. <laughs> but uh, this is the Avro Vulcan. Uh, this was used during the... Um, during like the 1940s, 50s, uh, and it was used to drop like nuclear bombs and stuff. Um, and a fun fact it says that all the time that Falcons took part in combat was in 1982 during the conflict between Britain and Argentina over possession of the Falklands Islands. That says the Vulcan flew two missions when attacked, and the Miradors destroyed. Destroying one and damaging another. That's my bad. It's a big, big plane. I think it's an absolute beast. Um, I like. I love shit like this. I mean, the, the other stuff. Like, I mean, that behind me. I wasn't really. T I'm not really fussed about that sort of stuff. But stuff like this, I've got a lot of love for. Like, I love old aircraft, and I'm keeping my fingers crossed, which I think there is going to be one. I'm hoping that there's going to be a Spitfire in there because a Spitfire is like my all time favourite, favourite plane. Um, but it's fucking huge. And I'll show you where they used to uh, they used to drop the bombs out the planes. So what I'm presuming, and Aiden, Aiden will tell me, up here above me is where they used to drop the bombs. And. Right shot as well. So the <laughs> the flaps <laughs> used to open uh, and they used to drop them. But obviously 
Look at the size of the engines. Holy shit. It's definitely rusted away, isn't it? Unless that's because it was in combat. Oh, shock. Fucking close the engine, though. But, fingers crossed there's a Spitfire in there, because if there is, I'm going to go. So, here we are in the military aviation section. You've got the Comet, Kumet, or whatever the Called. I don't know what that is, but are you ready? Are you ready? Ah, oh, there it is. The Spitfire. My favourite plane in aviation history. And I'm sure, uh, oh, this is a Molotov something. Nah, it's. Oh, that might be a name in, in GTA. But, oh, fucking hot. These was, I mean, look at the size of that. It looks like a ship. This is a wit, Mito, or whatever. Armstrong with, with more. Meteor, or whatever. Ah, uh, something. I'm butchering the name of these. Apologies. <laughs> I'd love, absolutely love to fly a Spitfire. Yeah, these were mainly used in the Soviet era. Um, and it's a it's a jet powered aircraft. Like people say not to touch stuff, but you can't just not touch history. <laughs> That's gonna sound weird and people are probably gonna rip me for that. But I look fatter than I actually am in that. Uh, and I'm presuming this engine here is what's inside of the, uh, the plane. Nope, I was incorrect. So, this is a Rolls Royce Neen engine. No idea what that's out of. Well, obviously, need turbo jet. It's crazy that. I mean, that just looks awful. Looks like a fucking dolphin. But I bet it's some piece of kit that, like. I cannot really go up there to see the Spitfire from a, a better view, but it just, like, it amazes me that we used to use them in, like, back in the day. Like when I say I absolutely love Spitfires, I've said it a few times already. But I uh, uh, love, love them. And look at the size of these. Why didn't that come and fly at you? You're dead. Whoa. Pause it here if you want to read some of that. Let's hide it again. And this is an English electric lightning plane. It's, it's electric. I'm joking, it's not. Oh, didn't even realise that. Look at that. What? What's it called? It's not a typhoon, is it? No. Tornado. Oh, no. There's a... I almost quiz me. <sighs> Probably not meant to do this late, but. Oh, it's... Whoa. Oh. It's because there's a, a show about to go on. I was looking at the planes. Well, I can tell you for a fact that I'm not fitting in that. I don't even know if you're allowed to sit in that. I presume you're not. Nah, it's rocking like fuck. There's the, uh, the sirens to tell you that planes and stuff off. Come 
the fucking shit on you. You probably you've probably not been able to hear us all this vlog, but fun fact: all of these are drip trays for if the um, this poor planes drip oil after they wear over time. I mean, honestly, if these were invented during that period, Christ, all of them planes just wouldn't last. Nor would they be able to keep up to something like this. But on these planes, believe it or not, I'm sure the wings, they, they move out. That's why they're, they're pushed inwards. And there's the intake for the engine. But yeah, let's go and have a look at the Spitfire. Oh, let's put my flashlight on. Whoa, look at that, lads. Whoa. This is a... Uh, Seppi Cat Jaguar, absolute beast. And there's just some, what well, I can only imagine it to be a bloody nuke, even though they're not. So, number six or number five is that one there, which is a high explosion explosive bomb. A thousand pound bomb was the second most widely used British bomb. In the Second World War. Wow. Wow. Sea venom. Supplies of water. Do you think these will be worth millions and millions and millions? Oh, I'll put my flashlight on again, but I'm not going to stop at the start. Here she is. The Spitfire, up close and personal, I would absolutely love to fly something like that. I say that as if I'd be able to fly a plane, but let's be honest, I would not be able to. That's all the planes they have here. Well, here we are at another plane. Don't ask me what this is, I thought Iron would have known what this plane was, but apparently he doesn't. Uh, I only say I thought you should have known because it's a British Airways plane. But that's cool. And, uh, that right there. I can have a, a gander. And how on earth I'm going to fit through that door? Christ. That's a bit awful. There's a toilet. Looks better than this one. Another toilet. Here comes a child. Sorry, this one's the. Oh, it's a BAC 11. Again, how on earth does someone fly that? I did see the studies, the same trolleys. We've got something similar on ours. On, well, not the plane, on the trains. So we, we are currently at North Berwick Beach. Believe it or not, you see that island that's right there, that white stuff on top, that's all birds, literally all birds. I didn't tell me and I didn't believe them. It's true, it is all birds. Um, there's a telescope or like a, well, yeah, it's a telescope just behind us. Uh, and you can see it through there, the literally, it literally is all birds. Wish I could zoom in close enough but I cannot uh, but honestly what a day what an absolute day it is today again I hope everyone's all right and having a nice chill day on this Thursday afternoon especially with weather like this don't be sitting in the house doing nothing 
because I planned on staying in bed all day because I didn't go to bed till like five or half five this morning. But I got up and we came out to the playing place, play museum, and we came to North Barrack. Gonna go for some dinner tonight. Gonna go to the books bar. If you know what that is, yeah, you're lucky to know what it is. But let's see where else we get up to. Right, folks. So this is like two or three, four days later after. Uh, that portion of the vlog where I was at Berwick, or North Berwick, sorry. Um, I, to be honest, we didn't do anything more, more after North Berwick. We just chilled uh, and relaxed. So, all I, all I have to say now is thank you very much for watching. Uh, I hope you've all enjoyed the vlog. Uh, your boy's now a Celtic supporter. But you never seen that one coming. Um, but no, um, that's this vlog for you. I hope you all have a lovely rest of your evening, day, afternoon, wherever you are in the world. Enjoy. See you soon, folks. Awkward. Because the vlog didn't fucking end when I tried to stop it. Class. <laughs>